Hello everyone. Uh, some time ago, maybe it was a week or two ago, I can't remember now, uh, I mentioned a dream that I'd been having. And I'm going to go a little more deeply into this today and maybe even get your help on it. Um, certainly there's many things in the world to cover today. We've got uh, Syria and Israel having a scrap overnight where Israel has taken down some um, some anti-aircraft uh, equipment of Syria. Syria claims that they have shot down an Israeli jet. Israel claims that none of their jets have been shot down. We've got Donald Trump uh, and the Trump administration, Rex Tillerson, saying that uh, all options are on the table with North Korea. Certainly seems like the war drums are beating in a number of places around the world, and you have to believe that something is about to pop off. But maybe these dreams, these dreams that I've had, um, and I'll explain to you here, might somehow tie into all of this. I don't know. And I've, I've prayed about it, and, well, I'll tell you what I, I think I'm hearing after I explain all this. I've had this dream a number of times where I am in standing in a village. It's it's not the it's not a spectacular place. It's just it appears to be a a suburban village, a rural village, you could say. Excuse me. <sighs> Coffee. Um you know, it's there is. Uh, I'm standing on a sidewalk. It's summertime, and uh, there is a street. It's actually more of a road adjacent to this sidewalk I'm standing on. To my left, there's green trees, and in my periphery, I can see the edge of a of a reddish brown brick building. And now, further ahead on this uh, road, I guess we'll call it a road. There is a bridge. And then further up, there is somewhat of a hill, and I think I see another street up there with trees, and maybe there's uh, some houses up there. But this bridge that's before me, that's maybe a quarter of a block ahead of me, there is some sort of creek or river underneath it. I can't see it, but I know it's under there, and I know that I want to fish in that creek, but I never get there. But the thing about this village, while it's not a spectacular-looking village, there's not a lot there, and I, I sense that there's other buildings nearby. Um, I get a tremendous feeling of peace while standing there in this village, and I, I don't want to wake up from it. Now, there's more parts to this village, and, I, and I'm asking you to bear with me here. I don't know how long this video is going to go, but... I've seen another part of this of this village or this town in a wintertime setting in other dreams where there is what appears to be a narrow lake or pond and there's a road on either side of it and then a small gully on either side which borders this lake, this narrow lake. And there's snow on the ground, and it's evening. As where the the summertime version of this village, it's it's a sunny summer day. This is evening in the winter, and I don't know why I sense maybe it's around Christmas time. I don't know. But I'm standing near the end of this lake, just off of one of the two roadways, and I'm standing in a copse of trees. And there's brush. It's a small clump of trees. And I can see vehicles on the road on the opposite side of the lake driving with their headlights on. And again, there's a hill up behind it. But again, it's a feeling in its evening. It's a cloudy evening in the winter, obviously. And it's chilly, but again, I get this very peaceful feeling. It's a feeling that I don't want to walk away from. And again, I sense there's other people around. I'm not talking to them, but I sense that they're there. Again, they're behind me. I don't know who they are. And I've seen other parts of this village where there's 
streets in the summertime and a stop sign and I see a body of water down in the gully. But okay, here's the village. But what, I, what I'm leading to from here, I keep knocking my keyboard over. A number of times in the last couple of months, I've had a dream that it's, a, and again, I think it's more of a summertime setting. And it's evening. And I'm standing in the parking lot of an apartment complex. Now, this apartment complex in my dream is, is similar to one that I lived in a few years ago, but it's not it. It's similar, but not exactly the same. Maybe it's reminiscent of another place I've seen, but it's like a conglomeration of different apartment complexes I've either visited or lived in. I can see buildings behind me. I sense there's buildings behind me. I'm in the parking lot. I'm looking up into the sky, and it, again, it's it's about I'd say dusk, early, early evening. The sun is on its way down. The sun is for the most part down. So we're in, I should say we're entering into nighttime. But there's still some light in the sky because the sun is not completely down. And I see some stars up there, and then I see a larger gold star. It's a five-pointed star, a traditional star, like maybe something you'd see on a Christmas tree. And it's a luminous gold. I mean, it's it's very appealing to the eye. It's, it's shining. has a very narrow white, I would call it halo, or not a halo, but border around it. Like another type of white, a white light is coming off of it. And it's up there, and it turns a little this way. And I'm looking at it, and there's other people in this parking lot of this, uh, this apartment complex. They're looking too, and they're murmuring about it. You can hear them talking about it behind me. Again, these people are always behind me for some reason. I don't know why. As I'm watching this gold, this big gold star, and it turns... And again, I'm, I'm getting a nice feeling from this. It's, it's definitely not something that's frightening. It's something that's peaceful, maybe exciting. I don't know. The star turns into a bell of the same color. And the bell, again, is a traditional-looking, old-fashioned type of bell, maybe something you'd see on a Christmas tree. It's the same color. It's gold, very luminous gold with the, uh, the white shadow around it and it starts to spin and it comes down from the sky spinning and crashes into the parking lot that I'm I'm standing in and it's a large bell I mean it, it could be the size of, of a of a car crashes in the parking lot I see some pieces of asphalt fly up from the impact point, and it goes spinning across the parking lot. It's then that I realize that the other people um, that are behind me are ret retreating. I almost said retweeting, um, not Twitter. They're retreating to one of the buildings in the back part of the complex. They're moving quickly. They're not running. And one of them signals to me, he's a guy in a white t-shirt with dark hair. He signals for me to follow them. So I follow them. And we end up going into not so much an apartment, but it's almost like a small rec hall that's inside one of these buildings. It's a meeting room of sorts. And everyone is seating, sitting down in, in, um, in folded chairs. It's like they were laid out ahead of time, rows of folded chairs in preparation for some sort of meeting. And they all start sitting down in the chairs. And they ask me to sit down and, and they start reaching into bags and they're passing out guns, handguns. But what's interesting is these handguns, they look like toys, but I get the impression that they're not. They're all, they're different colored. There's some blue ones, there's some red ones. And if you think about this, blue and red, Republican, Democrat. They're passing out the guns 
I take one, but it's purple. It's very strange, right? And we start to have a discussion about some event that's either about to happen or is just taking place at this time. And again, even though it's it's a rather it's a it's a very um, serious gathering where in this meeting we're preparing or planning for something, it's not tense at all. It's again, there's a sense of peace amongst all these people as they're dispersing out the colored guns, <laughs> and and it did have something to do with the bell coming down and crashing into the parking lot. From there, I kind of zoom out as this meeting has started, and I see parts of the village again, and then I'm awake. All right. I've prayed about this. And what I think the Holy Spirit is telling me is that it's, it's definitely an, a warning, an indicator of something coming. The star... I could interpret the star as being the Lord. But where I'm fuzzy is this bell that comes crashing down into the parking lot, uh, sending up chunks of asphalt and then spinning into the parking lot out of sight. This bell that's maybe the size of a, of a I don't know, a mid-sized car. After appearing up in the sky. This is where I'm confused. This, this is where I'm not getting clarity. But I do sense that it is somehow a dream and events that are related to the current day that we are living in right now. And it is related to the end of days. But the rest of this is fuzzy. And if you've watched me this far in this video, as we've gone over 12 minutes, I would like to know what you think. What do you think this dream means? I'm still praying about it. It's almost like all the information is being withheld from me. I'm getting, he's, the Lord's giving me pieces of it, but I'm not getting the full picture. But this dream, these pieces of these dreams, I have them, they're recurring. They're happening at least several times a week. And sometimes now I even have waking dreams about them. I, I have visions of this very stuff. That I'm dreaming about at night. So before I let you go, again, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. But interpret this dream as somehow a warning. That much I know, a warning of something. And yet there is this tremendous peace at the same time. A warning and yet peace. The bell. I think the bell crashing into the parking lot is the most intriguing part of this dream. Anyway, I'm Jim. Let me know what you think about this, as I'm still trying to figure it out. God bless you folks, and I'll see you soon.